This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Last year, something kind of magical happened. And it all started with something like this, a blank canvas. Actually, that's a pre-gessoed wooden cradled art panel. Yeah, dude, I know it's a wood panel, but blank canvas sounds way more dramatic. I'm trying to do a whole epic intro thing here. Haha, <laughs> I get it, I get it. Anyway, it started with a blank canvas. I took the blank canvas and added one small part. Then I sent that unfinished painting to another YouTuber and he added one small part. Then that YouTuber sent it to another YouTuber and then another YouTuber and then another YouTuber and so on and so forth until the painting was done. Eight YouTubers, thousands of miles, millions of views. And in the end, we got this. But Tin Han, we need more! We need more. Yeah! I am another person and I also agree with that sentiment. All right, you guys want more? I got you. That's right. Without further ado, announcing the bliggest Ert Comblerberation on Yub Tub. Nailed it. Season two! Now, in my last video, I mentioned there'd be some cool surprises for season two. I was gonna wait till later to tell you guys, but screw it, I'm too excited. I'm just gonna tell you right now. So this season, there's not only gonna be one painting, but two paintings circling the globe on an epic trajectory of creative awesomeness. Okay, so what's the deal with these two paintings? One painting will be very similar to last season. I start a piece, send it to another YouTuber. After that, it's completely out of my hands. That YouTuber chooses another YouTuber, and we're just gonna see where this thing goes. Now, the other painting has one key difference, one different rule that may change the way this thing goes. And the rule is that each YouTuber can only select another YouTuber that has less subscribers than them. I think this will be a great way to discover some new YouTubers and give some exposure to some smaller creators. I mean, should we even call this YouTube's biggest art collab? Maybe this painting should be called YouTube's smallest art collab. How will the small creator painting stack up against the other piece? Will the last creator have one single subscriber? Oh, I, I can't, can't wait, wait to find out! So this week, I'm starting on YouTube's smallest art collab. And then in my next video, I'm starting on YouTube's biggest art collab. Now you may be asking yourself, who's that first YouTuber Ten Hun is gonna send it to? Well, you're gonna have to stick around to the end of the video to find out. So, I guess it's time to start this thing. Let's go. In season one, as the piece was going from channel to channel, there was one common theme that almost every creator mentioned. They talked about how nervous and how stressed they were to put their part on the piece. I started the piece last season and I had no idea how the project was gonna grow, so I didn't feel any of that stress. But now, here on season two, I'm feeling that pressure that everyone else was feeling. It's really tough to start a painting when you know so many more people are gonna jump on it and so many more epic creators are just gonna make this piece so cool. All right, so my sketch is pretty much good to go. Now I need to transfer this thing onto the panel. I opened up a couple pre-gessoed art panels, then cut out my concept art that I had printed out. Getting ready to transfer my sketch onto the panel. Last time I went right in the middle, but I think this time I'm gonna go bottom left. I busted out my trusty Serral transfer paper and secured it to the panel with some tape. Then it was time to reach for my ballpoint pen and start using the pressure of the pen to transfer my concept art through the transfer paper and onto the panel. All right, I got my sketch transferred onto my panel and I'm feeling good. I don't know how you other artists feel out there, but I feel like making the sketch and getting everything prepared to actually start painting is like more than half the battle. To me, coming up with a cool idea and a cool sketch is always the hardest part. Anyway, here I am. Now this one seems, compared to last season, a lot smaller than what I did. But also this panel is 18 inches by 24 inches. Last season it was 16 inches by 20 inches. So we have a bigger panel this season, more room for more awesome art. That's what I like to see. Anyway, I think what I'm gonna do now is tone the panel with a light wash of acrylic, get rid of this harsh white background and get my panel just ready to paint. Are we gonna tone the panel now? Cool, cool. 
Cool, cool. So the panel is all toned. Now I think I wanna jump in here and paint the sides of this thing. It's gonna be a lot easier to paint the sides now than at the end when the art is all finished. I don't wanna be the one to risk wrapping the paint over the sides and messing everybody else's art up. Let's paint the sides. Yeah. Gonna paint the sides blue. Maybe you know what to do. Good collaboration. Maybe it's coming to you. Traveling the whole world. Painting everything inside. Baby, I wanna know what I'm gonna I forgot the lyrics. Good morning. Yes, today is a very exciting day. I'm on my way to the studio. I'm super excited because today I start painting on this collaboration painting. It feels like the first steps in an epic journey. I can't wait to see what becomes of this piece. I can't wait to send it to that next YouTuber and see what that person does. But first I gotta paint this thing, so I gotta get to my studio and I gotta get started and uh, yeah. Here we go, cue the painting. You know, for those of you that saw last season, when I talked about what I was doing for my art on that piece, I mentioned that I was doing a bit more of a realistic looking human while giving it some 1000-esque features. It was still a weird character, still had lavender skin. This season I wanted to lean a little bit more heavily into my 1000 style of drawing characters. Strange proportions, eyes super wide apart. My art style would not give me any A pluses in any anatomy class, but you know what? It's mine and I like it. I haven't really explored kind of crazy armor like this too much. I'm really excited to start painting that and choosing my colors for that. But I find myself always starting my paintings kind of with the face. It almost like reveals the soul of the character to me and gives me a roadmap for where I should take it beyond that. Okay, I've got a face, some hair, and some leaves. Really feeling how this thing's coming together so far. This is a very, very small painting. I've been using my smallest brushes. Jeez, what do I have for size reference? Tape measure for size reference? Uh, iPhone for size reference? <laughs> Super small. This armor is gonna be really detailed and really small and uh, a lot of fun. I'm one of those artists that actually likes painting small and I'm ready to jump back into it. But first, all right! Hey y'all, I'm Wally Pepper. Long time no see, am I right? Oh nice, Wally's back. Wall Preppers! Now some of you fans here on 1000's channel may be thinking to yourself, geez Wally, we haven't seen you for a while. You used to be on 1000's channel all the time, prepping walls to be painted for murals. Well I've missed you too, but listen, I've been busy, and I'll tell you one reason why is I started a website on Squarespace. That's right, wallpreppers.com. I put my services up there. I put my merch up there. I put awesome, beautiful, sensual pictures of my own face up there, and the clients keep rolling in. Now, old Wally Pepper knows a total of zilch about building a website. I don't know HMLT, I don't know how to code, but Squarespace makes it super easy. They have these award-winning templates, and all you gotta do is take your awesome content, drop it into their crazy easy templates, and boom, you got a website. You know what I always say on my channel, if you're not using a Squarespace template, you're gonna regret it. I love this guy. People can book me on my Squarespace website. They can hire me as a professional and a professional is what I am. Plus they also have 24 seven customer service. I've personally never needed to use it because I am a genius, but if you're a little more thick headed than old Wally here, 24 seven customer support, baby. Boom, wall prep. Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial and when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred to get 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Wall Preppers! Wow. Well, that just happened. That guy's really a lot sometimes. I know. Anyway, let's get back to painting. Here it was coming up on day three of working on this painting. I knew I really needed to finish this piece today. As I was working on this painting, I was thinking a lot about the YouTube art community. 
so much respect and admiration for my fellow art YouTubers because I know firsthand how hard it is to make a cool piece of art every week, make a video, do the voiceover, try to make it interesting for the audience. I was so hyped at every single person that jumped on the last painting for season one. Each new video that came out with that big reveal at the end of who was going to be next. I was just like so excited, jumping up and down, throwing my fists in the air every time each new YouTuber was revealed. And I really hope that this season two is going to be even more of that. It's <laughs> double that moment of excitement for me where I get to find out who's next, who's going to jump on the painting and see where each of these paintings will go. just use that India ink pen, so I'm spraying the painting with fixative to make sure the ink doesn't smear. I'm getting to the point now where I can see the finish line in sight. This armor was super complex with so many intersecting and interacting elements, but I think this piece is looking really cool and I hope it's the catalyst for the future creator's imagination to feed off of and continue with. All right, you guys, I think I'm done. Woo! I'm just about to introduce you to who I selected as the first YouTuber to receive this painting. But first, let me show you the final shots of what I did to start this thing off. I made sure to add a buffer of blue background all around my character so that other YouTubers could overlap mine and bump up against mine, but they don't have to get surgical about painting right up to my character. The moment we've all been waiting for. The first YouTuber to get this painting is... Hey people, it's Temi and I'm so excited to be a part of this collab. I followed the first one very closely and it turned out absolutely insane. So fingers crossed we can also create magic with this one. Shout out to 1000 for picking me. I'm sure you've had an amazing start, but I can't wait to get my hands on it. It is coming to the UK. Oh, heck yeah, Temi, baby. She's gonna be the first one to get this painting all the way in the United Kingdom. I don't know what she's gonna add to this piece, where she's gonna go, what she's gonna do, but I'm very excited. I hope you're very excited. Links to her channel are in the description go subscribe to her so that you don't miss the next video in this crazy chain of super epic youtube collaboration thank you guys so much for watching let me know down in the comments what you think of this starting of the painting next week is part two where i start the other painting that can go to just willy-nilly anywhere it wants to any youtuber all around the world <laughs> if you guys are watching this in like the first week that this video comes out the charity auction for the painting from season one and the charity prints are still available for a very, very, very short time. Links to that is down in the description. 100% of the profits go to support GiveWell, their maximum impact fund to fight malaria around the world. So check those out if you haven't seen them already, if you haven't put your order in, if you haven't bid on the painting. I think the painting's up to up past $10,000 right now. That's just so crazy. Wow. All right, you guys, I'm 10 hundred. I'm very excited to see where this thing goes and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> Peace out, yo. But then on, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's the fail. Damn.